Ellen, Luis Eduardo Gonzalez Garcia is a family man, according to his own words, but what has him in exceedingly hot water is that he is also a $56 million man. That's the amount of cash federal drug agents say he sent from cocaine warehouses in Naperville and Arlington Heights back to cartel accounts in Mexico, the proceeds of a very lucrative drug smuggling business. The spoils of a spoiled drug magnate. Yachts in tropical places, expensive gold watches, fancy SUVs, toasting the high life on horseback. Such was the rich and infamous existence of Luis Eduardo Gonzalez Garcia, who was arrested in 2018 by U.S. drug agents from Chicago as he was boarding a plane in Guatemala City. Gonzalez Garcia had spent the previous five years overseeing a mammoth cocaine network, concealing drugs and shipments of laundry detergent, furniture, and Mexican snack foods, according to investigators. From Mexico to Atlanta, Chicago, and the suburbs, he oversaw one of the city's most lucrative illegal drug operations. A warehouse in Arlington Heights raking in $12 million in cash shipped back to Mexico. A similar suburban warehouse in Naperville yielding $32 million. There are direct ties to the Mexico-based cartels like the Sinaloa cartel and the New Generation cartel and direct activity between the cartels and distribution in Chicago. Gonzalez Garcia was brought here to the Metro Correctional Center in Chicago after his arrest and he eventually pleaded guilty, expecting a reduced sentence for his goodwill. According to this paperwork filed by his attorneys, he was not just a family man and a businessman, but he was a remorseful man. He even included pictures of his children and letters from his twin sister and a family priest to persuade Judge Ronald Guzman that he should consider mercy, the family man's good deeds, not just his cartel drug lordship. Gonzalez Garcia asked for the minimum 10 years in prison, but Judge Guzman went the other way. 30 years behind bars and a $1.5 million fine. The $56 million man tonight says he got into the cocaine trafficking business when his tomato growing operation went bad and he became clouded in bad judgment, to use his words in the court filing. It would be a move that crushed his family's good name, his mother once the mayor of their Mexican hometown. Tonight at the Chicago MCC, this 55-year-old kingpin is counting the days to his release when he will be in his 80s. Judy. It'll be a while. Okay, Chuck, thank you. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.